Hello everyone, this is DeBear here from PokerTube and this is part two of video four on the advanced features on the tutorial videos for Sharkscope. Now in this section we're going to kick off here with a title called Resetting Stats. Now some of you have probably seen this um, when you've looked at other points and thought what's it all about, why is somebody doing that? So let me quickly show you how you actually reset your stats first of all and then we'll talk a little bit more about that. So what you do is you go to options up here on the top here you then scroll down, you can see this to configuration, yeah? Then you go to personal player names and you click on that. Now in there you can see there's an add reset date. So because I've already set myself up, remember I showed you how to do this beforehand about setting yourself up here. Okay, I can actually put in a reset date. Now what you need to do is be very careful. You don't want to do this unless you really want to, okay? Because this is what it says here. If you choose to add a reset date to one of your player names, all users, including yourself by the way, will not be able to view any results that occurred before the chosen reset date. Your player name will however have an icon next to it showing that a reset is in place and it says here resets do not affect leadership boards which is obviously uh, useful to know. So why would somebody do that? Well, let's just say you've had a torrid start. You started um, learning the game, it's taking you maybe a year or two to get to get to a certain standard and all the stuff before then, maybe you lost you know, three, four grand, whatever, right? Uh, and you were a losing player back then, but now you're a winning player and you want to basically say, well, all right, that was all my tuition. I paid for my education, I've done that. That's the old me and this is the new me. This is where I want to be reviewing from this point onwards. The other stuff, I know what it is. I don't need it anymore for my own benefit or for anybody else's benefit. I want to demonstrate this is where I'm starting from afresh. And that's how, um, and that's how you do it, um, and that's that's the logic behind it. Some people just want to hide. <laughs> What's happened in the past? Maybe they've banked a couple of good tournaments recently, or done rather well, and they think, oh no, I don't want everybody else to see what it was like in the past. So that's another reason. So th there could be many reasons, but there's just a, a couple. Let me give you an example of what it looks like. So we're going to use El Duffer. Remember, he's one of the people we've used before as our guinea pig in this one. I'm going to use him on stars because I know he's got somebody there. So if I go to opponents and then I look at his most frequent, here we go. There is somebody there. You see that wannabe? So we click on wannabe and bring him up. You can see the little tick on there. That is the reset icon. So there he is there. So when you look at him, if you hover over him, it tells you statistics will reset 8th to the 4th, 2012 at, well, hang on, give you even, give you even the time we got, 1348. So since that time... Remember, this is only May. He's actually played a shed, though. Look, he played 2,200. He's 14k up. ROI looks tasty. He's put in a fair amount of, um, uh, you know, games there. So, look, he's been doing pretty well here. Okay, doing well. They're massive bank, but look, he's gone back down again here. So, you can draw your own conclusion from that. But that's just an example. Next subject I'm going to be discussing is called set blog URL. Now you'll be thinking, hang on, what the heck does that mean? Well, if you've ever looked at anything, let me just do uh, myself here. Uh, just put that to our games and we'll just bring up the bear because I've actually done this today. I've never got around to doing this. I've heard about it, but I've never really done it. So here we go. Uh, it's about a blog. You can put a blog on your name basically and then update it as you wish. So for example, there's a little icon there which indicate visit my blog. So I've actually done that today. I keep meaning to do these things, but being a family person and all the rest of it, it's never easy to find the time to do this. So how do we actually get a blog set up? So when anybody looks at us, we've got all the, we just, you, you can click on that and visit my blog. So let me just show you, if I click on that, another page pops up. Hopefully you can see that. Yes, you can, great. And I've just put a wee note up there, just updated my profile so you can get information on myself by clicking on my profile. And this is on the Sharkscopers community. So if you click on my profile, I've updated all that, put some interesting stuff in there about me. And there is some interesting stuff, a little graph from my iPoker days. That was where my cash account, my main cash account was. That's where I was playing cash all the time. And there's some information on Bear and some of the spellings of my name on a few of the site. So the question is, how would you do this? Because it is, I think it's a really cool feature here. So what you do is you go to options, you go to configuration, Scroll down here, okay. Then you go to set blog URL. 
And once you've done that, you get this screen popping up here, basically. And what it says here is Gold subscribers can specify their blog URL and a linked block icon will appear next to your name uh, when it is searched or listed on a leaderboard as long as your subscription is active. Now, make that, take that on board. It's got to be active, the subscription, okay? You type in your blog URL in there, and I've already experimented with this. Let me show you in a second uh, the different URLs you can use for that. I'll just let me finish this bit first, though. Uh, these links are exclusively for your own player names, which have been configured in the manage personal name, uh, player name section. So if you click on that, that's that section there, just to remind you. Um, they're only for personal blogs. So if you're looking, it says here, for example, webmasters of tuition sites, etc., they need to contact SharpScope by email uh, for pricing and all that. So basically it's for your own personal use. Um, let me give you a little example of some people are doing this on the leadership boards just now. So if we go to 2012 sit and goes, here's number third in place. Look at this, Mocha Chocker up 189,000. Who says you can't win money at sit and goes these days? If we click on his little here, I can hear we'll click on him first, bring him up. There you go, there's his chart, very successful player doing well. Let's click on his blog, up pops the page. And just so you can see this, when I put it on big screen, it's his own blog. It shows under http dot colon double slash obviously mockerchocker.com. So you can put your own blogs in there as well. It doesn't have to be from Shark Scopers, which I'll show you in a second. There's some information on him. It's Ryan O'Donnell. A bit about him. Latest photos. He keeps it up to date pretty well, as you can see there, 29th of May. If we go back to the leadership board and look at the person in 10th place, which is Space Gravy, if we just click on him, bring him up. So there's Mocker Chocker, there's Space Gravy. Let's click on his Visit My Blog. Let's just see what happens. And look at that, people. He's got his linked up to his Twitter account. Fantastic. Uh, again, his is uh, the twitter.com, uh, Grace, uh, Sci 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 <laughs> whatever. Um, some information on him on that. There's a chart there. Loads of stuff. So you can do that. Set up your own blog, which is superb. Or you can do it the way Bear did it, which is on Shartscopers. So if I click this up for you, let me just show you this. This is www.shartscopers.com. And if you set it up here, so I mean, basically, if you log in with your normal Shartscope details, you can actually set up a blog for free via Shartscopers, which is cool. So if I go to my account here, it's got profile, blog, and track. If I hit on poker accounts, I can actually put up all the different names I have. I mean, uh, on different sites. So I've only put three up there just now. So two on iPoker, one on stars. I can specify which graph avatar I want to use. I can delete stuff that I've put up there. I can add sites. As you can see, it's really good. This is on short scopers, obviously. If I want to edit stuff about myself, there's the bio. There's a write-up about me, which is great. About and my account information, like oh, I changed password and all the rest. It's all there. And that's on Shark Scopers, and that is free. Like I say, obviously, if you do it in other sites, it may cost you money, etc., to set up your own um, blog information. But I think this is phenomenal, and it's a great tool. So the question you might be asking is, well, why should I set up a blog? Well, for various reasons. You might want to let people know what you're doing and how you're getting on, which is great. At the same time, you may want to be looking for some support or backing or funding. So let's say you like to sell pieces of yourself. A lot of people do that on 2 plus 2 and other sites. There's no reason why you can't uh, advertise that on Shortscope. Have a blog running. Just say, look, I'm playing in these events this weekend. Here's what I'm selling. Here's my markup. Who wants to buy a piece? Fantastic. At the same time, it's a great form of advertising because if you're looking for some support, backing tuition, but also some backers as well, you know what I mean, to, to support you financially, what a great way to do it for free, <laughs> which is just fantastic. Now, the other topic I want to talk about, people, is getting information against block players and the versus me function. Now, I've mentioned this in the previous uh, one of the videos there with regards to poker stars, but this applies across all networks. So this is why I want to come back and re-emphasize how important this is. Okay, so first of all, just to recap, people, if you go to uh, options at the top here, okay, configuration, personal player names, you need to set yourself up on the site. Uh, on chart scope for it to recognize its use. So what you do, for example, is wherever you are, you put your name in there and hit add. Okay, and then the site recognizes it's you. Okay, that basically means that once you've done that, whenever you've played against somebody in the past, then even if they're blocked, all their games and data that you've played against them suddenly become visible to you. But you need to add yourself to the system first. So once you've done that, as you can see, I've done that. I now want to go and view information on the people. So let me give you an example of what a block player looks like. 
So if I bring this up on myself here and I scroll down here to the most frequent opponents, this basically gives me the sit and go data on these people. So I've got one block person here, which is QSJSKS. Now all his data is completely blocked to me, but according to this on the sit and go site, I've played him 26 times. So if we click on this little person here, watch this, boom. Now, because I've got all the data for me, all games here, okay, this will actually bring up all the times I've played against them. So that will include, obviously, scheduled events as well. So I've got sit and go and schedule. So I've actually played against this individual 52 times versus me, as you can see. Tells me his average stake, roughly. Uh, his, what his ROI, I guess, when he's played against me, profit, and there's his actual rating. Now, think about it. If you're a regular sit and go player, you're going to have a lot more information than, for example, I've got in Q, QS, JS, KS. But I mean, still better than nothing but if you've got hundreds of games then this becomes a lot more accurate and think about it how useful is that tool for you against a block player because the more you play against that person the more information you get it share it's saved on here because you get yourself set up properly on shark scope it's a phenomenal tool and it definitely is overlooked by people who only use shark scope now and again rather than your regs and even your regs probably don't know about this so this is a very very handy tool and I would strongly recommend to use it on a regular basis. And you can, as I say, you hear, for example, if I click Tournament History, I can get the last few games that he's played in. All very handy. Gives me lots of information. Now, the last subject I wanted to bring to you on the advanced features is a very nice one. It's called Leadership Boards. You just click on the Leadership Boards and up this pops. Now, it automatically defaults to sit and go for the year 2012. And as you can see, it goes across networks here. Now, obviously, PokerStars is the biggest site out there. We all know that. But there are other sites out there. And, for example, here's this chap here, Legority here on the iPoker, making number eight on the iPoker site. And he's $122,000 up. Phenomenal. Now, you've got stars next to the people's names here. And you've got a link here, so if we pick up another one person here, Securely's here in PokerStars. I've actually done some homework on this person. And there's his little star. You highlight that, that tells you all the information about where his successes are. Like he's first here in any game on 301 to 1000. There's the first one there, you see that? And you just scroll your way through here. <laughs> Look at this profit though. 25,000 plus games, $944,000. Must be a nice life. <laughs> If you bring a bit more information on this individual, you can see where he's actually making his money. And look at this man. He's a heads up, obviously, he's a heads up pro here. Specialist. And what a run here. And look at this. In his last, what, 10 games, he's won the mobile one. I mean, wow. Nice run. And for one extra search, you can go there and pull up all his last 100 games. And you can just see how well he's doing. A little bit of a shaky bit there, but not too bad. But then, you know, he, he just, it's, this chap knows what he's doing. He's obviously very good. But just so you can do this, you can actually break this down further. Now, as I said, it defaults to sit and go. But if I click on any game and go to scheduled and hit refresh, I need to go to any stake here. So it asks for an option here. So if I go scheduled, any stake, it, see how it's refreshing? Boom. <coughs> Brings up the schedule for the year 2012. It's all PokerStars until you get to PokerStars IT down here. But look at this, 800,000 to the winner. And what's quite interesting there is you can see how much money tournament players are making. And then you compare that to some of your sit and go people, and there's still money in sit and goes. Obviously, from what I can see, it's very much heads up, but hey, there's still a lot of money there. Now, this filter here changes when you change this up here. So, if I actually click on this filter, see how it actually transposes to the advanced search function? That is the filter already built in, but then you can actually subdivide that filter yourself. So, say you didn't go, want to go to any stake, let's say you wanted to just bring that down uh, and change it slightly, you can alter that. Now, just to point out, the main purpose of the filter link on the leaderboard here, okay, is if you want to easily see how much a player has earned towards that leaderboard, it automatically configures the advanced search filters for you, okay? So, obviously, when you click on that, boom, it's automatically configured. So, you only need to add the player name to the search criteria, all right? Okay, as some leaderboard filters are quite complicated, so just take that on board, okay? So if we, for example, copied and pasted so six name in here, kept the same filter in, there's all the information on him, there's his profit. Form's not been too good recently here, so let's just, for example, change something and say, well, all right, let's cut this down here to say, let's see how he performs a buy-in of say 100 to 300 
just refreshed it. Kept us everything else, but then refreshed that. There's our filter. And look, 114,000 down to 816. So hang on a second, where did he get all these winnings from? And obviously you can click on this and this gives you a bit of information. But what I can do here is search here. And the easy thing to do here is once you've got this one ticked here, there's all his profit. If we go to uh, tournament history, I think it's in here. No, sorry, it'll be on here. Pro sorry, profit history here. I can look at... Yeah, under tournament history, sorry, you've got biggest wins, cost one search. So here we go, and I can scroll down here and see where all his wins have come from. And look at this, 700,000 from a 10k event here, and that was the 22nd of the 5th. Nice. Only 500 in the field, and he finished third, so they must have obviously struck a deal on that puppy. But uh, there you go, must be nice, all that money, heavily from one event. It looks like it got sponsored by this event here. <laughs> an interesting point to point out here. If you're not on here, for whatever reason, there's an error ever. Just hit Submit Player. You see this? Click on that. Whichever network it is, put your name in there. And if there's a big bink or win in there that's not there, the system will then find it after you've submitted yourself. And it will correct the leadership boards for you accordingly. And the last little thing to mention here, which I think is very useful. And I know some of the people that I know would be very interested in this is, you see this bit here? manage private leadership boards you can set up your own leadership boards so say you've got a pub event or an online event or whatever or a group event that you're all getting involved in you can set up your own leadership boards for that particular event you know so it says a create new title and you can do it all and you can have your own little leadership board there i think that's absolutely fantastic and again you know it's it's part and parcel of the package you get with shark school so i think that's a, a nice little uh extra add-on there which goes along with everything else so that's the end of the advanced features people part two hope you've enjoyed it there's a lot in there obviously any questions or queries remember you've got the frequently answered questions section up here which covers a lot of that otherwise just post a little email to uh, shark scope and they'll more than happily reply uh, so on that happy and merry note hope to see you at the tables very soon take care thank you